Um, as you know, I've put out a lot of videos recently on POTS because I think it's a poorly understood condition um, and I was very keen to try and uh, learn about it for myself but also raise awareness about this condition which seems to cause a great deal of suffering for a lot of people. Uh, but because not many medical professionals know about it, it often doesn't get diagnosed for a long time and the patient suffers uh, you know, with no help. So um, POTS, as you know, is a syndrome. It consists of symptoms and uh, laboratory findings. So in terms of symptoms, the symptoms are orthostatic intolerance, which means that the patient does not tolerate standing upright. Okay, and often that uh, is manifest as a um, as a discomfort uh, because the heart rate goes up excessively, and often people feel dizzy and they just generally have to lie down. Uh, and then when they go to the um, the lab and they they have tests, in particular a tilt table test, what you find is that there is an excessive rise in the heart rate. However. Although that makes the diagnosis of POTS, a lot of people have other symptoms in addition to uh, this orthostatic intolerance, um, <clears throat> which are also part of this kind of syndrome. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, some of them can be quite varied and difficult to, um, to discern. So I thought I'd do a video on the associated symptoms that people may experience in uh, in dysautonomia and POTS. Uh, because if you know of other symptoms, there may be, uh, you could look at yourself if you suffer from POTS and say, oh, well, you know, I'm having these symptoms and that could all be part and parcel of this dysautonomia. So there was a very interesting study by, done by Oja, O-J-H-A et al., in the Journal of Pediatrics in 2010, where they asked a bunch of POTS patients, and these were mainly younger, you know, uh, children, adolescents. Um, they asked them about other associated uh, symptoms that they may have. And the results are very interesting. Okay, So the first thing is that over 95% of the people who were asked said that they had sleep problems. And as you know, I've done a lot of videos on how to try and the importance of sleep and how to try and improve their sleep in POTS. But the vast majority, 49 out of 50 people, said they had sleep disturbances. Then uh, the next commonest thing was non-gastric pain. So pain in the chest, pain in the muscles, pain, um, you know, uh, pain in the head. Uh, Pain was uh, an extremely common symptom that people described. 82% of the people uh, said that they had pain, uh, which was also in, in, in which was associated with their POTS. 78% said they had gastric pain. Okay, so pain in the stomach, uh, bloating, uh, discomfort, uh, constipation, pain in the gastrointestinal area. Um, <clears throat> About 70% of patients said they had something like a Reynolds-like phenomena or Reynolds-like symptoms, which means that their hands, the fingertips felt very cold and numb, particularly on exposure to cold weather. Um, then 60% uh, said they suffered from nausea and vomiting. 45% uh, of patients said that they had headaches. 30% of patients actually said that they collapsed or blacked out or fainted with their POTS. 25% uh, of patients uh, talked about urinary urgency, meaning that they they would need to go, they'd need to go straight away to pass water. And then 15% of patients said that they were passing water much more frequently than they would have thought they would. Um, and then about 10% said that they had to get up more frequently at night to go and pass water. And about 4% said that they had uh, difficulty in passing urine or, you know, um, pain in passing urine. So those are the common other things that patients with POTS say that they suffer from. And it may be worth looking um, at your, if you suffer from POTS, looking at your, um, you know, which of these you identify with, uh, because uh, it may just help you understand what's going on. So I hope this was useful. Uh, 
I hope to be putting out more videos on POTS, and this is a very short video. Uh, please consider visiting uh, my Facebook page, which can be accessed by typing in yorkcardiology at gmail.com on your um, um, Facebook uh, search browser. Uh, you can also visit my website, www.yorkcardiology.co.uk. We're hosting a, a session for patients to come and meet me uh, and one of my colleagues who's a gastric uh, gastroenterologist, Dr. Smale, um, and I've got details of that on my Facebook page. So if you'd like to, it's in April, uh, it's uh, in York. Uh, so if you'd like to come, come and join my Facebook page and there's details on there and then um, I'd love to meet you. Take care, all the best.